Welcome to Electra Online. Now let's take a look at the principles of virtual work. There are three of them. The first two are already familiar with. Principle one states that if a particle is in equilibrium under the action of a number of forces, this includes the inertial force MA, so even if the forces do not add up to zero, if the net force is not equal to zero, but we include the inertial force MA, then they will add up to zero, then the total work done, which is known now as the virtual work, by the forces for a virtual imaginary displacement will be zero. So, to make that short, what we're saying is that if a particle is in equilibrium, the virtual work will be zero. The second principle states that a particle is in equilibrium under the action of a system of forces, which includes again the inertial force MA, if the total work done by the forces, the virtual work, is zero for any virtual, which is an imaginary, displacement of the particle. So this kind of turns it around says that if the total work done by the forces, in other words the virtual work done, if that work done is zero, then we conclude that the particle is in equilibrium. And finally, the third principle states that a particle is in equilibrium under the action of a system of forces, which includes the inertial force MA, so we start exactly the same way, if the total work done by the forces, but in this case we're going to exclude the reaction forces, like we saw in the previous two examples, there were two reactionary forces, but if we now exclude those forces, the virtual work done will also be zero for any kinematically admissible virtual displacement. In other words, a displacement that is possible that does not violate the constraints. In other words, a particle sliding on a table can somehow go through the table. That would be an example of a particle that violates the constraints. So if a particle does not violate any of the constraints, then, if, again, also if, the, if it's kinematically admissible virtual displacement, then we can exclude the reaction forces, and again, the particle will be in equilibrium if the total work done, the virtual work by the forces, equals zero. And those are what we call the three principles of virtual work.